Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to swap the hard drive PCB board to rescue a hard drive. This video covers the following five things. 1. Find the correct donor board. 2. What is the PCB board firmware, also called PCB board BIOS? 3. Does the board need to do the firmware transfer? 4. What to do if the board firmware is in an independent memory chip? 5. What to do if the board firmware is integrated into the main IC? Find the correct donor board. 1. Locate the hard drive model number. 2. Locate the PCB board number. Go to www.hdd-parts.com. Input the model number and the board number to search for the correct donor board. What is the PCB board firmware, also called PCB board BIOS? For the most hard drives, why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer before swapping the PCB board? 1. One hard drive PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board from a transfer, we have two things we want to mention. One, PCB board from a transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Two. We can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Does your PCB board need to do the firmware transfer? Some old model hard drives do not have BIOS issue. So, if you can find a compatible PCB board, you may swap the PCB board directly. Each model hard drive PCB board compatibility criteria is different. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com to check out your PCB board compatibility. What to do if the board firmware is in an independent memory chip? For most of the modern hard drives, the PCB boards have BIOS on it. If the BIOS is in the memory chip, we have to swap the memory chip before swapping the PCB board. What to do if the board firmware is integrated into the main IC? If the BIOS is integrated into the main IC, we have to swap the main IC before swapping the PCB board. If you cannot find the donor board for your hard drive or have other questions, you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board email to us. We will find the donor board or the best solution for you. 
Thank you for taking your precious time to watch my video. If the video is a little bit of help, could you please do me a favor to click on like to support me? Thank you very much in advance. See you guys in the next coming video. Bye.